Hi, my name is Dan, and I would like to tell you a little bit about my experiences that I made with my self-constructed streaming backpack. So I did a few different types of streams with the backpack. For instance, a dog walking stream where I wore the backpack and had the camera on the clamp on a side. Um, I did a stream where I had the camera in my car. Like it's like a, some sort of a suction thingy where you attach your camera, it records uh, where you go. I did, um, I did a scooter stream where I just wore the backpack and I had the camera here and streamed the scooter ride. So there's a few things that I've noticed. For instance, when you have the camera attached to one of your backpack straps and you walk with a stream, it will always shake a little. This is what, this is just what happens. I've tried, there's like two straps on each side and you can connect them. And I think you'll make it a little bit more stable. Um, I've also tried removing the clamp and attaching it to this strap. So it's more centered. It seems there's a little bit less shaking. Um, I also have a harness. I haven't tested it yet though, because harness is always something a little bit more complicated and more annoying. If for instance, if you wear a jacket and you have the harness over it and the camera attached, if you want to open the jacket, there's the harness in the way. So the shaking is a thing that is a little bit annoying when I was looking at my own videos. Now that might depend um, on the camera. I don't know if for instance, the Sony action camera does less shaking if you walk like this, if it fixes it a little bit better, but I'm not sure of that. It might very well not be the case. Another problem I ran into is the signal because you are limited to one single um, signal. You don't have the four signals from the live view connected together and which mixes and matches the best signal. You have just one signal and then one's going to be stable. If it's unstable, then sometimes um, it can cause the stream to, to just end. So if you are, let's say, if, you've, if you're going to go for a walk for an hour, if you're going to go for a car ride or, or um, a scooter ride, then it may, may very well uh, interrupt the signal and your stream may end while you're doing it. So it doesn't seem to be the, the optimal solution for such streams. Now, what I don't know is whether or not it has to do with... Um, the, the beta option of the variable bitrate. I mean, there's a reason it's in beta for the webcaster. So maybe that's the problem or maybe it's just the signal. I don't know. I noticed also when I did the phone stream that I also lost signal at, in at times. So I think it might not be a webcaster thingy at all. It might just be the signal. So in, in the conclusion is, if you have a live view backpack and four modems, of course, it's better and more stable, but the costs are much higher. You will have to pay around 3000 for a backpack and you will also have four mobile plans, maybe three, maybe two. It depends on your, on the country you're in, but that multiplies your running costs. The running cost that I have is just one unlimited plan for my phone, which I already had. So for me, that's no additional costs. I had to pay 300 for the webcaster. I had the camera, I got two cables and I also had the battery. So the costs are really low for me. And this I think is a good option. If you know, if you want to cover places or events where you know there will be a signal, um, there will be an, a, a decent signal. You won't be running out of, of, of signals. <laughs> um, so I wanted to cover some events in my city in Zurich, like the street parade. And uh, for that, I think that having the camera attached to a shoulder strap on this height might not be high enough because there, there, sh there could be a crowd around me and I will just filming the back of somebody. So what I'll need for it is some sort of a grip that I can extend and maybe put in my backpack and then extend it above my head height, have the camera on it, and then I can record, for instance, the street parade or whatever it is, whatever event I want to be covering from a height that actually shows um, a lot more than I can see down there. 
and that is my next plan to find such a grip which has a, a compatible head where I can attach the GoPro and screw it in and it does also have a little tripod on the bottom or at least a hole for a screw because I do have a tripod here I really like this one this is from a, it's called the brand is Photo Pro I don't know if you can see it it's really stable and you can change uh, the angle at which the camera is on top of it. I, I would really like to keep using this one and find the grip, that I, an antenna grip that I can make longer, screw in on this one, and if needed, I can place the camera down. It's very stable. All right. So this concludes the experiences I have made so far. So for me personally, the webcaster is a perfect solution to cover these where events where I know I'll have a good signal and I can provide good picture, good quality stream without being shaky or pixelated. All of these pictures have been downloaded from Twitch. So the, they are what actually people saw if they were watching me. They're not just GoPro videos, you know. <laughs> And um, I just wanted to show you how the quality is. And I wanted to tell you about its ups, about its downs. And I realized for many people, $300 is an investment. But of course, it's much less an investment than having like um, a live view backpack. Then again, it's a much bigger investment than just using your phone. So for most people, using the phone is still the best solution at streaming. I know many popular streamers use the phone. It's good enough. But I think just I wanted to go a step beyond it because for me personally, it was really not satisfying. Um, the picture, the picture quality that I got was really bad. The camera doesn't handle low light good enough. It doesn't have, um, I, for instance, the, the client is I that I was using from, uh, stream elements. It, uh, I could switch to my different cameras on the phone. There was, there's a wide angle camera, but for some reason that doesn't work anymore. It's just one front, one back camera. You zoomed in, you get a little bit dizzy putting the thing on the phone that makes everything bigger. The fisheye thingy is something that I only made bad experiences with. It, it tends to, to move a little, or if you're near the water, there can get water underneath and it gets blurred pixel. It's just. There's just so much hassle and with this option, the, the disadvantage is compared to a phone stream that you have the cables from your camera. That's always annoying, but you can get around it. If you put the camera on your backpack, then you have your hands free. The cables are attached to the backpack and everything, or, or maybe if you have an antenna with the camera looking out on it, then it goes up there, but your hands should be free. And that is, um, yeah, that is the way I want to stream. I don't want to hold a stick in my hand all the time. And this concludes today's video. Thank you for watching. Um, please hit like, maybe subscribe. I will be making more videos. It means a lot to me. And if you have any questions, please ask them underneath. Or even better, come visit me on Twitch when I'm live. Although mostly I will be streaming gameplay, but that will regularly have my IRL backpack streams, which mostly consist of testing signal and locations, but I feel at some point it will get much more stable. So have a good one. Bye bye.